All right, back to it with Bleed 2. Let's take a look at the extras this time. So, for mutators... Oh, crap. I have to disable... I have to restart the game to enable mutators. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll take a look. See, so infinite energy... Oh, death bullets. That's fun. Tiny bullets. Unreflectable. Hateless. Draw tiles. Ooh, that actually sounds really cool. All right, let's just... I guess, since I turned it on, we may as well just play with everything on. Um... And we'll take a look at each of the characters we unlocked. I'm not sure who the last one is yet. Oh yeah, let's read. So yeah, the rival's identical to Rin, but uses a yellow sword. So he reflects yellow things. Uh, faces an even mix of yellow-purple enemies regardless of difficulty. Yeah, I think Rin faces more and more purple the lower the difficulty is. I think on easy, almost every reflectable boss thing is going to be purple. Uh, the Clawed Girl, which is from uh, They Bleed Pixels. Gains energy and extra air dodges from damaging enemies. She's really hard to play. Uh, she can heal by using the taunt button, though. Uh, she can reflect all attacks, but you have to, like... Well, I'll show you when we play as her. She's hard to play as. You can be one of the robot dudes. Gains power exponentially as the style me meter rises. So he's sort of a... Stylish, like, speedrunner sort of character, I guess. Absorb bullets to regain health at max health. It has a damaging air dash. Oh, that's cool. And Valentine's pretty cool. She has a polarity shield that objects that absorbs all projectiles of that color. And then you can shoot a laser with her air dash. But to show off the mutators. Oh yeah, and there's. All right, I haven't checked out the challenge mode. All oh, right, the challenge mode is just like the first game. It lets you pick a bunch of bosses. Oh, and I guess new game, that's for like, you know, if you want to speedrun, sort of, you can, um, interesting, what's the, what's the green hitbox for? Huh. I haven't often seen anything like this where it... Like, especially for a non-fighting game, to show you all the hitboxes, show you the, uh, the tiles as they're drawn. That's pretty cool. And there's an ad for Bleed, the original game in here. Useful Dead. Is that a game? I think that's a game. Alright, and we're weightless. I forgot about the mutators. Uh, if you play as Evil Boss Lady, um, she can actually do that, um... She can actually fly all the time. She's a really overpowered character. Um, which I guess is a fitting unlock for hard mode. Yeah, I guess this is the... That's how the mutators work. Oh. I think I turned off being able to reflect bullets, didn't I? That's why they're blue, I guess. Yeah. You need to have a different color just to indicate that for this mode. But yeah, and with the mutators on, you can't uh, unlock achievements or unlocks or anything. Even though some of them make the game harder. It's just, it's an all or nothing deal. Alright, let's check out our air dodge. Flying kick. This long covers them, but deals damage and passes through enemies. Teleport. Pass harmlessly through all the damage and energy. Oh, that's cool. Alright, now I have to restart the game to disable the mutator. Or, no! Uh, yeah, and it warns you that mutators are enabled when you start a game, which is really cool. Oh, and you can have a timer for uh, for speedruns. So I really like when devs um, pay a little attention and have some, you know, in-game timers and stuff like that. All right, I got to go out and go back in. Ah, recording full screen games is so fun; it like never works. I should have. Does this game have borderless window? It probably does. What, what do you mean? Oh, okay. PC options, windowed. Ah, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters a little, but uh, let's just check out the Clawed Girl, and uh, we'll play the first level on very hard. I like that she's reading instead of playing games. It's very fitting. And she's got that nice white outline that she does in her game. It's a cute touch. They really did a good job of uh, having her. Like, she's designed to fit in the world, but she also, you know, keeps her own characteristics. 
so she's interesting because she can reflect all bullets, but she has this weird delay. I think her arm has to go down um, for her to be able to, like, she can't spam the stick to uh, reflect a lot. I, I guess that's a balance feature because, you know, she can reflect everything. But, uh... It means you have to stop shooting to uh, reflect stuff. So you have to either decide, do you want to reflect stuff or do you want to hit things? And I guess for bosses and stuff, like, it's probably not as big of a handicap as it feels like. But, um... Ah, frick! It, it really throws you off at first, and it definitely takes some getting used to. Also, she has weird air dashes. She gets another air dash for killing someone, I think. Oh, frick. But I think you have to be in the air to get it. I, I don't... Yeah, like that. And she seems like a, an advanced character. That's, oh! Even her normal air dash hurts. Oh, that is... That is, that is pretty cool, then. But still, she's definitely a harder character to play as. What's her... Oh, right! So you kill things to gain energy, and you can use energy while taunting to uh, restore your health. See, so yeah, a really interesting character. Um, not sure I'd play as her myself too much. I mean, I'll, I'm gonna finish this level as her, but um, she'd probably be the last character that I try to beat the game as. I've already beaten the game with um, with that blonde guy. It's not really too different from Ren, as you might expect. He just has an extremely even chance of being able to reflect any given attack. Which, at higher difficulties, I don't think is any different than Ren, really. Certain attacks with him will still always be reflectable, like, uh, like uh, the Ganon... Um, baseball thing. I guess it's more like more tennis than baseball. You don't really hit the ball back and forth in baseball unless you're like... Imagine how hard that would be. <laughs> like instead of... Like basically tennis but with baseballs. That would be... that would be intense. Also I think she does more damage. But yeah she's pretty freaking hard to play. Of course, I think this is the final boss of this stage. Also, she has less air dashes, unless you kill things, I guess. Alright, do the charge up. No! In theory, it feels like she should be really good for being able to... Oh, she can... Slow glide. For being able to reflect any of the big attacks, that's really great. But then it's really awkward to use her in all of this time where she doesn't have uh, big attacks to reflect. Ah, oh, frick. And then I waste it when we finally do get it. Ah, oh, come on! It feels like she has shorter than the vulnerability frames. Yeah, I... I don't really care for playing as her. Actually, I'm not actually sure that she does more damage. Or maybe she does, and it's just, since we're in hard mode, it doesn't look like it. Because we played Ran on... We played Ran on hard mode, this is very hard. Very hard mode, and I complain about difficulty who to thunk. Yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of how she operates. She's definitely really interesting, but... Ugh. There you go. Oh, frick. It's almost like better to just wait on uh, stuff to reflect. Ah, frick. No, no, heal, you stupid! Oh my god. Her heal is so hard to use. Like, why does her meter de deplete? Ah, oh, frickin'. Uh, 
I don't know. Her meter seems like it's always empty, and I don't... Oh, no. Do her air dashes use meter? Oh, that's... That's really frustrating. Okay, I didn't notice that. I guess that's why kills... Kills just raise meter, and her air dashes use meter. Like, after the first one, I guess. Come on! That delay really is killer. I don't... I don't think I'm gonna use her again after this. Oh, God. If you're attacking normally, you just never have that reflection shot, and it... It really feels bad, man. Oh, come on! So, like... Being able to reflect every kind of shot really is not as overpowered as it sounds. This doesn't really feel like it's working. Oh my god! Come on! Oh my god! Come... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, if I die... If I die two more times, I'm done here. I'll just pick a different character. Yeah, I, I, I really think you're supposed to get two reflections in a row to make that attack work. Or that attack dodgeable. And it, she just can't do that. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, no, we're done with her. She's impossible to use. Uh, yeah. No! no! I always expect that you select character when you start a game, but now you select it from here. Alright. Alright, let's do a quick run with this guy. Mr. Robot Man. Also, the dialogue changes very slightly. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> they weren't kidding about that um, style thing. Wow. So, um, the story does change a little bit. Why did I take damage? Wait, wh where did my health go? Is that because I dashed? I like the color. You can tell your score just by the color of a shot. It's not. It's very explicit. So can he not reflect at all? Or no loadout. All right, no alt fire for him. He does have time slow. Wait, what the? Where did my score go? I think maybe the taunt thing resets after you kill an enemy. Yes, yeah, so you can't. It's not super spammable, but oh. I think inaction also reduces your style meter a little bit. Yeah, the robot seems interesting at least. I'm not sure I'd want to play it. Um, wait. I don't know how to... I don't know how to hurt you. Oh, I got an air dash through him. Okay, I'm still not entirely sure how this dude works. Also, his style meter, maybe it's because it's on very hard mode? But his style meter doesn't feel like it goes up as fast as Ren's. Because they haven't taken a lot of damage, or maybe it just goes down for reasons other... Does 
it go down when I stand still or something? Why does it go down? I thought it only went down when you took damage. Okay, I really don't understand this damaging air dash thing. The extra characters are kind of more of a really unusual challenge. I, I don't... Right, I thought this guy would be easier to play. Maybe very hard mode is just even way more of a jump from hard mode than I thought. But... Yeah, these guys are really freaking hard to play as, aren't they? He's not taking any damage! Alright, I'm just gonna show you Valentine. Error, error. That's cute. Yeah, that's... Oh, no! Oh, that, that messes me up every time. Character select. Yeah, Valentine is great though. I promise there's one extra character that is actually really good. She's just kind of brooding. And this is interesting because, like, I, I guess at some point I'll be fighting myself. But yeah, Valentine is very good. She doesn't really have an air dash, but she's also constantly flying, so... You just have a constant speed, which I guess has its ups and downs, but... You can also completely absorb one polarity at all times. And, um... I think while you're switching, you can briefly be hit by either. But, um... It's not too hard. Wait, what do I do with you? Oh, right! <laughs> you use the laser. Yeah, when you absorb enough shots, you can do a big ol' freaking laser. So that's why you want to absorb some big shots. So instead of, um... Instead of reflecting big attacks back at things, you absorb things and shoot them back with a big ol' laser. Laser is very good. That boss doesn't have a lot of health anyway, but um, she's a very satisfying character to use. Oh no! The bridge is gone. Whatever will I do? <laughs> yeah, she just like totally destroys certain. Oh. Certain patterns can be a little weird with her, but with certain more predictable bosses, she just like completely obliterates and it's great. It's definitely a mindset change. Oops. Wasn't aiming the right way. It's definitely a mindset change, but uh, it's pretty great. Oh, you can adjust your shot a little bit. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Yeah, I really like Valentine. I, I'm kind of surprised how frustrating the other characters can be to use. All oh, right, we're still going. I thought that was. I would definitely not get to the end of this level, as uh, they bleed pixels, girl. That. Oof. Yeah, the robot definitely seems like a speedrunner character, though. I, I kind of imagine that Valentine is faster. She's just so freaking good, and there's no major downsides. I mean, certain attacks, I'm not sure if... Like, like that charge thing, I think you just have to dodge that instead of reflecting it. But it's not really a big problem. I mean, look at the damage she can do. And she's gonna recharge pretty fast on bosses. Depends on the boss, but... Bye. Rip. I don't think her alt fire does anything either. Nice! She's even OP in terms of scoring. Let's see what breaking news has. Yeah, I think the news doesn't actually realize that you're not Rin until the very end, but the ending cutscene is different.
I just want to play until I see myself. Because I think at the end of this level, we do see ourselves. Because we're supposed to see Valentine at some point. I found you, faker! Yeah, she's just, just really OP. And that's pretty great. Oh. Yeah, I think that missile still did damage to me. Yeah, missiles still hurt. It's a really a small price to pay for um, her ridiculousness. Also, your laser has to be at least 50% charged. And really, being able to fly really prevents a lot of stuff from... Uh... Aw, oh, come on! Ow. Doing less good this time. Aw, oh, come on! And subordinates, I will show you why you're on their leader. I guess you're just killing her own, you know, buddies, just because why not? I mean, that's a pretty villainous sort of thing to do, right? So yeah, for some of these bosses, you don't really have as much stuff that you can absorb. So that's an issue, but she still does really good damage anyway. It's like, even without energy. We're dealing at least as much damage as uh, Ren would be doing with her pistols. And we have a wider range with them. Because they're a bit taller and stuff. Ow. But yeah, some... Yeah, she's definitely different with some bosses, because yeah, I I'm used to being able to reflect the that back. Ah. Hey, wh why does that blade hurt me? Rude. Oops. Freaking gangster cats, I can't believe it. And they're like no legs! Oh, and there's this jackal. When you play as blonde guy, uh, for this segment, there's, uh, there's nobody in the truck. It's kind of funny. The, 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 um, or the windshield is up, or the, the windows, like, has stuff blocking it. It's kind of a neat touch. Spoilers, though, you do eventually fight yourself, and it's pretty hilarious when you do. Uh-oh. Oh, I wanted you to die before that! Oh, well, I should I should have dodged. You can always tell who's evil based on, you know, they got a voice filter on them. Good people never have a voice filter on them. Oh wait, I think it's over on the right. Yep. <laughs> Who's this handsome lady? I guess blue is their code for no reflection. They're like... Yeah. I'm glad you know which one to target. I wonder if I can quit color with a laser? Because Ren doesn't really have that option. Oh, I can absorb a freaking laser! That's awesome! Come on, do the laser, do the laser, do the laser. So yeah, she's still really freaking good. I had a little trouble with the... the Thank you! Oh, they didn't quite fill it up as much as I was hoping for. Bye bye. <laughs> Oop. Just gonna teleport over there. Okay. Not bad. See, so yeah, that's, that's a little peek at all of the extra stuff. Uh oh. Going to space. Oh. <laughs> Physics. Driven to desperation, the enemy leader, Valentine... 
What? Why is he up there? What? I think they only half changed some of these. That's weird. Because it definitely said Valentine emerged. Oh wait, no. Maybe that's what it said the first time. Maybe I just mis misread that. Never mind. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think it just thinks you're Ren the whole time until the very end. But yeah, this is Bleed 2. That's a peek at all of the little extra stuff you get. I really like being able to play as Valentine. I really appreciate when games let you play as, like, final boss characters and stuff. And they're still really powerful. Maybe not, like, you know, kill every enemy on the screen at once with a single tap of a button powerful. But they should feel like a freaking final boss, you know? And as long as there's, like, separate scores per thing or, like, unlocks per character, I don't think it's a problem that one character is overpowered. Like, uh, look at Binding of Isaac. Um, so, Azazel is overpowered, but um, that doesn't matter, because you have to play as Isaac and all of the other characters to uh, unlock stuff. You, no matter what, you still have to play as Maggie, who sucks, in order to go through everything. The weird thing is that Maggie is like, it seems like she's designed to be like a beginner-friendly character, but she's terrible. Like, the, the Yum Heart really does not compensate for how bad she is in every other area. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that's Bleed 2.